Hello D Nation and welcome back. In today's episode, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the Marvel Legends Ultimate Rider set of the Punisher action figure with the motorcycle. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well, before we get to the good stuff, let's take a look at the boxing as always. So up front, we have a clear window type boxing which allows us to see the content of this package which is amazing. And as you can see, here is the Marvel and the Punisher branding which is bang in the middle of this package. And onto the right corner, we could see the Hasbro logo which is the manufacturer. And moving on to the bottom left corner, we could see the warning right up. And flipping over to the side, we can see an awesome graphic of the Punisher on his motorcycle which looks stunning and onto the back we could see some product shots of the content of this package all throughout and a write up about Frank Castle who is the Punisher. So pause if you want to take a read. And on this side of the package we see a graphic of the Punisher on his motorcycle yet again and onto the top of the package we see the Legend series branding along with the original Punisher skull all spot varnish that looks awesome and nothing much on the bottom. So with no further ado, let's get this open. And here is everything that you get from this package which includes the action figure of the Punisher and the motorcycle along with 7 accessories. And to begin with keep in mind that there is a minor assembly required for this motorcycle. So let's go ahead and sort it out to begin with. And here is the Punisher action figure out of the box along with his awesome stealth black chopper style motorcycle and by the looks of it I can already tell that I really like this 2 pack ultimate rider set especially as this is a new and awesome sculpt of the Punisher. And looks like there's a lot of cool stuff included in this set especially with the vast array of accessories that this set comes with and before we check out the accessories let's first go ahead and take a look at the motorcycle as this is the main reason why I got this Ultimate Riders pack. So here we go. And looks like this motorcycle is based on the previous Wolverine motorcycle which is obvious but sure does look unique and stealthy in an all black matte finish. So now let's take a closer look at the Punisher's motorcycle. So my first thoughts about this motorcycle is that it has quite a good and sturdy quality although it is made up of ABS plastic and I should admit that this model looks quite amazing and looks quite close to its real life counterpart. So getting down to a few features and specifications, well this model comes with a black chassis which is pretty much the colour scheme all throughout this motorcycle replica. And this model also comes with a steerable front fork which comes with a well detailed headlight and this elegantly flows into a well sculpted chopper style handlebar with black hand grips with a pair of clutch and brake levers. And this handlebar unit also comes with a speedometer with a Punisher skull on it which is a good touch of detail. And these components seamlessly flow into a front fork with a pair of front turn signals on it. And moving down is a blacked out front fender that wraps around a beautiful blacked out spoke wheel and a rubber tyre. And moving on to the mid section, this fuel tank is well sculpted and in black. And moving down to the heart of this ride lies a beautiful and well detailed blacked out V-twin engine sculpt with dual black exhausts with the rest of the mid section components blacked out as well. And talking about the seat, it's a single saddle seat which is well sculpted and in black as well which has some leather texture to it which goes with the stealthy look of this chopper. And the rear wheel setup is just the same as the front but comes with a pair of rear turn signals and a number plate with Punisher 616 on it which is a good touch of detail. 
And just to mention, this model comes with free rolling wheels and a center kickstand in case you want to display it. And as far as the specs go, this replica measures in at 8 inches in length, 6 inches in height, 3 inches in width and weighs in approximately at about 190 grams which are a little bigger compared to the standard 112 scale specs. So let's go ahead and make a size comparison of this model with the standard 112 scale Harley Davidson 2017 Road King by Maisto. And by the looks of it, this Punisher motorcycle is almost the same size as the regular 112 scale motorcycles with not much of a difference, which overall doesn't really bother me. And all I can say is that this is a beautiful and well detailed replica of the Punisher motorcycle and I'm glad that I finally got my hands on this so that I could add it to my 112 scale motorcycle collection. So overall this is a beautiful motorcycle model and a definite must have for any motorcycle collector or hobbyist especially if you are a Punisher or a Marvel enthusiast. So check out a few side by side shots of these motorcycles and please do let me know what you think in the comments below. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Punisher action figure along with the accessories he comes with. And this quality realistic 6 inch legend series, the Punisher figure is inspired by the character from the Marvel comics and features multiple points of articulation for high posability and is a great addition to any Marvel action figure collection. And this action figure of the Punisher sports an all black attire which goes well with the vigilante getup. So moving on, this action figure comes with two swappable heads with one being the regular stare down face and the other sporting his battle scars which is simply amazing with intricate details. And another interesting accessory that comes with this set is the Viking style helmet which has amazing details as you can see. And the upper torso of this action figure is well sculpted and detailed as well with a black sleeveless top with the Punisher logo which is in white on it with some good details. And I should admit that I love this muscle bound version of the Punisher as he looks like a real badass with a good touch of detail. I also love the massive arm sculpt on this figure and the cut off black gloves is a good touch of detail as well. And moving down there is some good details on the trousers as well with well detailed boots. And talking about the other accessories, this Punisher figure comes with three amazing and well detailed guns out of which one is a shotgun and the other two look like automatic rifles. And this set also comes with a baseball club as well. And another accessory that comes with a set that I really like is something that looks like a machete or a sword which should go well with the well sculpted viking helmet provided. So overall this is an amazing and well sculpted action figure with some good articulation with quite a lot of awesome accessories provided which is a definite bonus with this Punisher Ultimate Rider set. Well I'm really not an action figure guy but for the most part this Punisher figure looks simply amazing and I really am excited to add him to my action figure collection or better still to look over D-Nation's 112 scale motorcycle collection. And in case you're interested, kindly find further features, specifications and the best buy links for this Punisher Ultimate Rider set in the description below. So with that out of the way, let's place Punisher's chopper on the D-Nation dyno and check out its wheel spin and its functionality. Well, the functionality seems to be perfect and just as beautiful as the highly detailed exteriors and this Punisher motorcycle replica gets a massive thumbs up from me for looks as well as for the functionality. 
So with that being said, let's place this amazing Punisher Ultimate Rider set on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at this awesome Marvel Legends set in a 360 degree view and stay tuned for some fun facts on the Punisher coming up. Marvel's The Punisher or simply The Punisher is an American television series created by Steve Lightfoot for the streaming service Netflix based on the Marvel Comics character of the same name. It is set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, sharing continuity with the films and other television series of the franchise, and is a spin-off of Marvel's Daredevil. The series is produced by Marvel's Television in association with ABC Studios and Bohemian Risk Productions, with Lightfoot serving as showrunner. The series revolves around Frank Castle, who is the Punisher, a vigilante who aims to fight the criminal underworld by any means necessary no matter how lethal the results, with John Berthnell reprising the role from Daredevil. After extracting revenge on those responsible for the death of his family, the first season finds former Force Recon Marine Frank Castle, known throughout New York City as the Punisher, uncovering a large conspiracy beyond what was done to him and his family. The second season sees Castle who has been living a quiet life on the road, drawn into the mystery surrounding the attempted murder of Amy Pendix, forcing him to decide if he should embrace his life as the Punisher. And for further information on the Punisher, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones this amazing Punisher Ultimate Rider set, I dropped the Best Buy link in the description below, so go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested. And also, please do let me know in the comments below as to what are your thoughts about this Punisher action figure and motorcycle. And I would like to take a moment to thank all my D-Nation subscribers and followers for your constant support and feedback and this is much appreciated. So kindly continue to support D-Nation by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also by liking and sharing our videos. Also, please do follow us at dnation.in on Instagram for daily diecast previews and updates. And please do check out the rest of the 112 scale and the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes in the playlist below. And this brings us to the end of this Marvel Legends action figure unbox and review episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video give it a massive thumbs up and share it and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching, take care and I'll see you on the next one.